This video will show you the scanning procedure for a single, full denture workflow. As an input for the dental system, you can use a functional impression with gypsum antagonist, the old denture requiring reline to be used as a functional impression tray and the gypsum antagonist, a set of gypsum models with the wax rim. There are two scanning scenarios covering this variety of input. The first scenario is used for scanning the functional impression with gypsum antagonist. The same workflow is valid for cases when the functional impression is taken with the old denture. The second scenario is used for the classic case of gypsum models with the wax rim. As always, start the workflow with order creation. First, make sure that object type is set to model for any mentioned combination of input. The actual choice between impression and gypsum model will be made in the Scanit Dental application. Then select teeth on one jaw, upper in this case. Click on the gingiva layer button. Select the appropriate assembling type, glued in teeth with basal reduction in this case. Then add anatomy layer elements, having artificial tooth selected by default. When everything is set, click scan. Scanit Dental will open having impression chosen as the object type by default. All scanning steps will be visible on the left, including impression, antagonist and occlusion scanning. Now, when at the upper jaw scanning step, mount the upper impression on the scanning plate and insert into the scanner. Click Next or wait until scanning starts automatically if you are using an e-scanner with the Auto Start option enabled. When scanning is completed, you can trim the scan. Now, click Next to get into the lower jaw scanning step. Place the antagonist model on a plate and insert it into the scanner. Having both models scanned, click Next to go to the occlusion scan step. Having the impression in occlusion with the antagonist, mount it on the plate and run the scanning procedure. Now, when the occlusion is scanned, click Next or go directly to the next sub-step, which is Align Lower Arch Manually and use one or three point alignment. After that, go to Align Upper Arch Manually and do the same for the upper arch impression. When done, go to Alignment Results to see the final outcome of the alignment process. Then click Next to get to the inspection step and check the scanning results. Please notice that at this step, the functional impression is combined with the virtual base. Your models have been saved and you are ready to proceed to design a denture. When Scanit Dental opens, Change object type from impression to model. In the lower jaw scanning step, place the lower jaw model on the scanner plate and insert it into the scanner. When scanned, go to the next step. In the upper jaw scanning step, scan the antagonist model And when ready, go to the occlusion scanning step, where you scan the upper model, the wax rim and the lower model together in occlusion. Having the occlusion scanned, align the lower
and the upper models together. At the end, click Next to get to the Inspect step to check the scanning outcome and have your scan saved. After completing the chosen workflow, you are ready to design a denture. Just click the Design button to be moved to Dental Designer. While designing a denture, you may choose the workflow with or without full denture try-in. Please see our full denture design video and the Adding Modified Try-in Scan to the Order video. Now you know the scanning procedure for a single full denture workflow. Thank you for watching.